Your personal development matters the most from where you are right now. Bring your career into new heights with our affordable and quality in-demand virtual training programs designed just for you. Give your career a boost with a course or a training from Stellar Training Consultancy Services and join thousands of professionals from different walks of life in a learning and development session that fascinates you, motivates you, challenges you to learn new things that you'll use forever in a career you love. Find the right training for you today here at Stellar Training Consultancy Services, bringing excellence to professionals.
others. If you're watching this, you might be looking for training certifications, workshops, webinars, or conferences that is affordable, accessible, reliable, and commendable. Stellar Training Consultancy Services can help you with your certification needs. From leadership and administrative trainings to general topics, we got it all here. With partners being served such as Department of Health, Philippine Coast Guard, Department of Labor and Employment, Department of Trade Industry, and many more organizations and agencies. There's no more reliable provider than STCS. So hurry, send us a message, and find excellence with STCS. Pakinggan mo po ang pagtawag namin sa iyong banal na pangalan. Basbasan mo po ang aming pagtitipon at kami kaluguran mo sa araw na ito. Pagyamanin mo po, Panginoon, at maging nakaayon sa iyong kalooban ang aming pagkikita-kita mula sa simula hanggang katapusan. Masalamin nawa namin ang layunin mong dakila sa aming buhay at may sagawa namin ngayon ang aming mga gawain na may kabutihan at pag-ibig sa aming kapwa. Kami po'y naninikluhod sa iyong harapan na kami iyong patnubayan at iwaksi sa aming kaisipan ang anumang masasamang kaisipan Inggit at pakikipag-alit sa aming mga kasama. Bigyan mo kami ng sapat na lakas at katalinuhan upang maibahagi naman namin ang aming makakaya sa aming mga kasama sa pagtitipon na ito. Panalangin namin ang lahat ng ito sa pangalan ng iyong bugtong na anak na si Jesus. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, Diyos ang sinahanan, alam ng puso, sa dikit mo'y buhay, upang hinihiraw, huyan ka ng magiging, Sa 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 
<laughs> All right. So good morning, everyone. Hold on. Let me just turn on my video. Yeah, and good morning. Nakapustura tayo ngayon. We are back at school. And I just wish to know if I could be heard clearly. Hi, Sir Joselito. Good morning po. Welcome back. Is my voice very clear? If nagchachapi po, please um, notify me. Okay, maraming salamat. Okay, thank you. Thank you, dahil clear. I'm actually just using my own connection. Wow, full house tayo today for today's video. <laughs> okay, I know that most of us are really in our own um, offices. So that's why itong 10, uh, 10 to 12 talaga, ito yung uh, tagutom. <laughs> ito yung uh, pinaka-critical na oras in uh, conducting trainings within the day. Ito yung tagutom. So we'll try to be uh, we'll try to maximize our time. And yes, good morning, everyone. I will just maybe um I'll be ask I'll, let me just share my screen for a while. Tayo po ay uh, napaka multitaskerist, sabi nga nila. Because uh, today we are going to talk about office and administrative management training. Okay, as I start with this topic, I just want to um, ask for permission. I'll just be turning off my video so that it, it would save, you know, yung kanyang, uh, better yung kanyang audio quality. Okay, kapag ganito. Sige. All right, so hindi ko na isa isa yung mga pangalan ninyo because we are, again, what, like what I said, full house tayo, 24 participants for today's training. And... Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much for always choosing STCS, Stellar Training Consultancy Services, as your training provider. Sa mga bumabalik po at sa mga, uh, if, if it's your first time here, welcome po sa inyo. All right. Now, I just wish to know, kasi ito yung, uh, ito yung part na I, I want to know better. I want to know my participants and my trainees better. Kasi I'd like to, as much as possible, appropriate the examples that we give here and later po sa ating sharing. So I wish to know what are your designations in your company or offices so that I would know if if this would directly uh, impact you or, or maybe this is for some reasons that we take office and administrative management training. So what are our designations are you um, the admin, office administration administrator? Are you the manager, supervisor? Please type in the chat box since marami po tayo. Just keep your responses coming with these questions. Uh, with this question, rather. Kasi yung uh, point ko in asking this question is that I'd like to really as much as possible make all our, um, our discussion and the examples as relevant as possible. Okay, maraming salamat, Ma'am Gail, for responding first. All right, so program manager, and we have administrative assistant, president, teacher, librarian, and ex executive assistant. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, even if these, uh, the topic is not directly concern or impact you, but I believe that the skills that we need to have as a manager, ito po ay napaka, uh, ito po na topic or training is very relevant to you as well. All right. So let's go to, thank you po. Sige, respond lang po tayo. All right. I'll be asking you, what are your def difficulties in office management? Gusto ko, kung, gusto ko po sana mag, um, I'd like to, to encourage everyone to share what you have in mind kasi baka mamaya po mamaya sa ating sa inyong lunch break baka babalik-balikan niyo itong point na gusto niyo sanang sagutin ang question but you you never did so okay what about um ay ma'am amor ikaw po kasi yung una after my video after my video ikaw na po yung next <laughs> for this question po ma'am what are your difficulties in office management Sa inyo pong office, is it ang tao ba, ang system nyo ba, ang office mismo, the convenience? Ano po yung mga challenges ninyo sa office, ma'am? You may unmute your microphone pa. Uh, as of the moment po, hindi pa rin namin kayo naririnig. But uh, 
if that's a technical problem, then we can just go to another person. Ah, okay, lang po ma'am Amor. Maybe we'll try again next uh, later po, a little later. Kasi naka-unmute pa rin po. Okay, thank you po. Now, I'll, I'll go to, hindi naman po sa pa, pumapabor ako, but uh, this person has been with me for a few of my trainings. <laughs> Sir Rosilito, you know na. <laughs> Ikaw na yung sinasabi ko. As the president in your organization, ano po yung mga difficulties ninyo in terms of office management? You may unmute your microphone, sir. And of course, payroll, no? Depende na sa collection, no? If client would always believe I have problems with payroll. Uh -huh. Well, second is uh, the characters of our workers at site. Ah, uh, yeah. So we have a policy we implement, especially with safety program. So yeah. we just have to do some, uh, uh, I call this, to be creative. So we able to go through to the day to day uh, difficulties, no? especially during the 2020-2021 COVID season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. We're still here, we're getting stronger. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Sir Salito. Yeah, getting stronger and braver. Uh, we have proven uh, the pandemic that we can, you know, rise above the storm. Thank you, Sir Salito. Um, yes, yung kanina yung sa you I, I what I think that is very common to most of us here that was responded by Sir Solito is the character. No, the character talaga ng tao. Minsan kasi hindi mo may determine no um, the character and the things that you need to do for that particular character. Merong mga merong mga tao na iba iba talaga tayo. Iba iba tayo ng ugali. Iba iba din yung paano ta nat natin sila approach. And there are times that we are on the the side na kailangan nating mag-adjust because we are the we are the service provider they are the customers or they're the clients and things like that you know kailangan nating kalimutan na we have our own wills we have our own decisions because they are the customers <laughs> all right we also encourage other participants to share their thoughts about the question yes that's right training trainer one of the challenges mom jen she says one of the challenges in our office is employees diverse characters yes exactly some office protocol salary salary processes yeah kasi merong mga characters merong mga characteristics na they, they they are good with a with a certain policy but their characteristics or characters na nahihirapan sila to follow an, a particular um policy just simply uh, just simple simple example is the yung time tardiness yan ang tardiness kasi may iba na talagang they are morning persons or they are night owls we don't know they are nocturnal people so minsan di ba uh, late na silang talagang nakakatulog or there are also other other factors so things like this and because of that di ba may mga tao na if you if you if you address um if you correct or call their attention because of this you know, because of frequently getting tardy at at work, yan pag initan ka, things like that. Attitude of coworkers and also the salary. Ito talaga ang salary, no? Kasi kapag one day lang na late sa salary, talagang parang may magwewelga sa labas ng opisina mo. <laughs> okay, and pe people will keep on bugging you. Um, yes, and difficulty to motivate others exactly. Kasi yung uh, iba ay we don't know uh, what are they their demotivators kung bakit sila they are not they are they, they are not um embracing professional development or yung di ba pinagte-train mo or pinapahandal mo ng project for future promotion hindi sila kasi parang they are already corrupted with the culture or the system a, a lot of factors um are underlying okay thank you po for sharing i like your responses yes you may respond again we would like to encourage you <laughs> magagalit po sila tama po yan ma'am jency oh, i would like to, we'd like to encourage everyone to to um share kung ayo kung nahirapan po kayo mag-type you can always unmute your microphone even in the middle of my discussion i don't mind kasi gustong gusto ko po yung nakakarinig ako ng examples from your very own experiences okay next do you have a clear management procedure in your workplace for this you can just rate this from 1 to 10 please 
type in the chat box one to 10, 10 is the highest if you have a clear management procedure in your workplace. Just um, type one to 10, one is the lowest, 10, wow, I saw 10, okay, 8.5, this is very specific. Thank you so much, Ma'am Joy Linea, yeah, it's 8.5. Yung iba nga, ang iba nga siguro, no, kung ako say 8.23, <laughs> just kidding, but 6 and 6, 7, 9, 8, 7, 9, 6. I really commend, I mean, this this is not really, I mean, I, I won't take this against you if you don't have that a high rating, you know, kasi, Talagang, it's good to know that we there are still a lot of improvements. No? Kasi po, sabi nila kapag perfect na daw yung buhay natin, baka hindi na tayo gumising bukas. <laughs> sabi na, so, ibig sabihin, meron ka pang mission na dapat mong gawin. That's why you still have a lot of improvement to do for yourself and for your office. But I'd like to know from, because we can also take best practices from, from the power gear. Sir Joselito, ano po yung sikreto to have a good or a very satisfactory uh, management procedure? Sige, sir. Ano po, paano, of course, one, yeah, uh, yes. okay. uh, with safety, I am the safety director. No, I have around 500 more training hours on safety. And uh, I have prepared our OSH program, which is now four and a half inches thick. And I train my safety officers. And we implement what is in our policy, not only the administrative policy, but also the most important is safety because we are in a fit out construction. Uh, there are times that we terminate people, but we give them due process. Mm. So we want to emphasize to our workers, we're very strict with uh, respect to safety, but uh, major violations will result into suspension and sometimes for terminations. So we give everything, we supply them everything. So they just have to follow the policy. If not, there's nothing we can do. And we enforce it to the dot. Of course, we do some exceptions. So sometimes we have to consider psychosocial uh, uh, considerations, stress management we give our people because not all of us have uh, perfect families. So we take into consideration also the difficult times. Sometimes collection is problem. But we make sure to it that we pay salary on time because it affects the performance of our workers. Okay, that's all. All right. Thank you, Sir Salito. Yes, that really one of uh, the things that we have to look at no kasi nagiging the motivation all right nagiging the motivator din po yung uh, delayed salary i uh, even know the, the promotion and so on so thank you po now salamat sir Salito. we can we could really learn from uh, your experience and uh, from what you have shared with us today okay so it takes training exercise you know that becomes a habit kapag we develop now we just need to really improve from time to time with the things that we need, you need to improve and as time as years go by you we would already perfect your uh, management procedure okay so kung bago po kayo sa aking channel <laughs> sa aking training i always ask my participants to read okay so that's also one of the ways to interact now, since Sir Josilito is done sharing, I'd like to ask Mom Abigail, if it's okay, to unmute your microphone and read to us what is office and administrative management. Okay, Mom Abigail, if you may unmute your microphone. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, po. Narinig na po. Thank you. <laughs> Office management is a profession involving the design, implementation, evaluation, and maintenance of the process of work, 
within an office or other organization in order to sustain and improve efficiency and productivity. Okay, thank you. So that's office management, all right? I'd like to um, emphasize the words design, implement, evaluate, maintain the process of work within an office or organization. In our goal here is to sustain and improve efficiency and productivity. So that's why a while ago, I mentioned about you. Ha we have to really assess or evaluate whether we are doing the right thing or our system works or is it does it work the way we want it to or we intend it to be, okay? Or we intend it to do. Kasi important that, uh, that we always check that we always check um, the the progress, de ba? Hindi lang dahil you are in the position to um, you are in the position you you are already dependent on the people uh, below you or your subordinates. So it's important that we closely and personally monitor the progress of this. Because you have my training, you have my capacity to evaluate the system, de ba? And of course, you have to design it. You have to design. You have to design or redesign. That's why lagi tayong nag-check, no? Lagi tayong nag-training kasi baka may mga templates, may mga bagong system, may mga, mga bagong procedures na pwede nating ma-acquire, especially in the new normal. Diba? Nung in the advent of the pandemic, maraming mga systems, not only in the educational institution, but even in the business enterprises, no? Marami sa iba-ibang organisasyon, maraming nag-shift or nag-redesign ng kanilang system to work in a remote uh, setting. Okay? Kasi hindi na nag-work yung face-to-face -face or yung um, okay, most most of us work, we had a work-from-home uh, setup. No? So, ayun. Now, yeah, we, we, we design. We design and redesign. Kasi sometimes we just adopt we just adopt or modify those that are already existing. Okay? Yun ang ginagawa natin. Kaya importante din talaga yung ating uh, records management system, no? Na it's really working and it's really working effectively. Kasi doon natin makikita kung meron bang existing procedure or meron bang existing system that we can up, we can just adopt and modify to suit what we have, what we need. Like in the new normal. So yun. Kasi uh, it will take time kapag nag-design nag pa tayo ng bago. But if the situation calls for it, then we have to do so. All right. So and maintain the process of work. Maintain. So kapag we, over, we have already reached that kind of system na very, na, na very suitable and very effective, then we just have to maintain the process. And if time will come that we get promoted, we just have to um, relinquish or we have to just give that or teach that process to the next in line. Okay. Now, what is management? What is office and administrative management? Still, I'll uh, ask Mom Mona Lisa. Mom Mona Lisa because I cannot call sir or Mom 1J7ZXZTWDKIQE. <laughs> you may re rename for your um, name so I can address your you properly. But we'll have Mom Mona Lisa for the time being. Mom Mona Lisa. If she's unable to unmute her microphone, we'll go directly to Mom Jancy Gale. Mom Jancy? Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just read. Okay. What is office administrative management? So office management is thus a part of the overall administration of business. And since the elements of management are forecasting and planning, organizing, command, control, and coordination, the office is a part of the total management function. Thank you, Ma'am Jancy. So I'd like to Thank highlight you. important words. So overall administration of business so whatever your business is it doesn't have to be uh between a customer and uh, the service provider relationship but your business business in school business in, in your office in the lgu wherever you are connected and uh, you have the element of management here forecasting and planning so forecasting you have to anticipate what are the things that um 
what are, what would be the what 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 are the possible risks what are the things that you need to do so you have to forecast you have to anticipate and with the given data you have to analyze and make a conclusion recommendations and so on you have to organize organize your resources organize your people organize whatever needs to be organized but most importantly you have to organize the files in your office and command control and coordination well the command the most important skill here for command is, of course, your communication and, of course, your leadership skill, right? I wish to know how many people do you, okay, how many people do you handle? Please type in the chat box the people that you manage or you handle directly. Yung kayo ang direct, may direct command sa kanila. Um, less those people who were under the who are under their command. Yung directly, you're directly commanding. So Sarsenito has eight. What about the others? I'll just be waiting for your responses. But I'll, wow, thirty-four with the. Uh, is there? Is this Mamel or Sir Mel? Let me check. Because before I had a participant, his name is Mel. Okay, this is my Mel, I guess. All right. And while waiting for the others to respond, I'd like to check, Sir Josilito, during the pandemic, ano yung pinaka-challenging sa inyo in terms of your command control and coordination? Kasi work, nasa work from home setup tayo, no? Ah, okay. It's si Sir Mel pala. All right. So, See, sir. Who's, ah, okay. See you later. Maybe we'll have Sir Silito. Kasi parang ano na mag, mag first honors na ito si Sir Silito. Later na lang po muna Sir Silito. I'll just have Mam uh, Sir Mel. Sir Mel, ito si Sir Mel. Kasi nasa construction. Um, ano siya business or bas parang in. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Construction firm something. Um, ano po yung naging problema? Kasi work. Uh, yung kasagsagan ng pandemic. Yung ating uh, setup is work from home. Nag-work from home din po ba kayo, Sir Mel? Or ano pong nangyari? Uh, on-site talaga, Sir. On-site. Ah, okay. Kasi on-site. Kasi construction talaga kayo, Sir. No? So how did you... Uh, did you handle this kind of... This number of people already that time, Sir? 30 na agad yung that time? Or hindi uh, pa? Yes, Sir. Uh, 30. Uh, ano na yan, Sir? Uh, staff and workers. Or additional kasi. I see. Ano po ba yung pinakamahirap, Sir Mel? Sa in, sa in terms of command? Uh, siguro sa ay, sorry sir to distract kasi medyo mayingi kasi binago. Okay uh, lang po. Sa akin sir, ano, uh, as a safety siguro yung pinaka mahirap talaga i-handle yung implementation ng safety and health especially ngayon uh, may COVID-19 and then may additional na virus yung monkeypox. So mas mahirap talaga sa amin as a safety na ipa-implement sa mga workers kasi uh, not only, uh, I mean, hindi lahat ng tao na sumusunod. So, nasita mo ngayon, tapos mga 5 minutes after or 10 minutes, bumalik na naman. So, ganyan yung pinaka mahirap sa amin. Uh, Nagro-rotation yung paninita namin sa mga tao. Kaya, sobrang hirap kahit na pagod na kami sa health namin, sa ano namin, uh, kalusugan o katawan. Uh, sobrang hirap talaga. Manita ng mga tao na lalo na yung mga hindi magkakaiba yung ugali, yung attitude mm -hmm. ng workers o yung staff. So, mahirap talaga ipa-implement mm -hmm. lalo na. Although, yun talaga sir, yung totoo. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we do understand. Thank you so much, Sir Mel. Yes, talagang kahit saan naman na, na office or organization or business enterprise, may mga pasaway talaga yung tinatawag natin ng mga pasaway. Um, and it ito yun silang pinaka challenging when in terms of the command also another thing is yung mga uh, how do we say that yung hindi nila agad na intindihan to we regard that to their low comprehension hindi agad nila na intindihan yung sinasabi mo paulit-ulit ka at paulit-ulit ka ng sinasabi at the end of the day may mga mali pa rin silang nagagawa because they were not able to get what you uh, intended them to do. So one of the trainings that that I conducted before, also here, 
one of the speakers in the videos that we used said that kung nagbibigay daw tayo ng instruction, this might be funny, but this this is effective as sa kanya. Pag nagbibigay daw tayo ng instruction, we have to also ask them to repeat what you have said. Ipapaulit kung ano yung nasabi mo, um, kung na-take note ba nila lahat, para po eh, sa, sa pinakauna pa lang in the dissemination or cascading of, of instruction or task, hindi na Mal, hindi na magkakamali kasi pag if you started it right or wrong then you would not expect to end it right right so ayan but we'll have oh also still from still from a construction firm ma'am Abigail you are handling 60 people wow ang dami po ano po yung pinaka challenging na parte po sa inyo ma'am Abigail in terms of your command at yung coordination ng mga tao. Kasi 60 is not just <laughs> not just an easy number to handle. Are you able to unmute your microphone, Ma'am Abigail? Uh, yes po. Ah, okay po. All right. So, Ma'am Abigail, wow, 60. Paano niyo po na-handle sila at paano po sila nag-coordinate with this kind of you know, number? Uh, so, Sa so, isang firm kasi ako nagtatrabaho ko sa ano, okay, uh, like po. construction and development. I see po. Kayo po nag-supervise sa kanila directly, ma'am? Uh, yes po. I see. May mga, sometimes may mga gulo ba or may mga conflicts bang nangyayari? Hindi natin na iwasan yun, no? Ay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> pagsunod ng instruction eh, o oh, pagsunod ng instruction so nagkakamali so ano yung pinaka saan mare-remember nyo lang po ano yung pinaka naging pagkakamali na na nagawa ng isang ano ng inyong um, tao po uh, yung sa ano uh, sa skill reinforcement ano um, mm. parang nag ano siya nag sarili niyang ano <laughs> Oo. Nag, nag ano po siya ng sarili niya. Yeah, gumawa siya or may 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 sarili siyang parang nag like, input ah, siya ng sarili. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yan ang ma, yan ang mahirap kasi uh, hindi naman sa I don't know if they're just curious or nagmamagaling but they 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 these are they are really no they are really employees that uh, they are really actually more qualified than their position but yun, uh, they tend to forget. Tama po ba? They tend to forget kung saan sila dapat muna and they just have to wait for the instruction or follow the instruction talaga. You sure? Sorry. Kasi um, um, ano sa mga, parang ang mga uh, old, ano, old, mm. ano employee sa na. Mm. I see. Meron na silang, kumbaga, meron silang gustong gawin na bago, no? Or meron na silang na before na na-experience. Yung nakasanayan nila. Parang, yeah. I see. Thank you, Mom Abigail. So the most challenging part for Mom Abigail is the instruction, following instruction no? or following the the command. Yun ang mahirap din. All right. So thank you. All right. So kasi kap ang mahirap kapag hindi fina follow the in uh, instruction. Pag nakakamale, remember that you supervisors or managers are the direct accountable person. You are the it's your accountability. So your employees also have to know that kapag meron silang nagawang pagkakamali, hindi lang nila sa hindi lang na nila pwedeng sabihin na ibabawas sa sweldo nila or something like that, but it will be taken against your leadership. Yun ang dapat nating ma-communicate sa kanila clearly that whatever they do, you are accountable not only their their, their, their welfare but also their performance. No, that's why uh, in that way, if you can communicate that effectively, they would know why, bakit ka nagiging stricto, especially in minute details, yung mga maliliit na instruction na dapat ma-follow. Yan, kasi mahalaga na maintindihan nila ito. Kasi yung iba, they just, um, they take that for granted because they think that they can just, um, they can just have all the accountability. Pero hindi. Kasi kayo po yung supervisor or manager or the one handling them. Let's go to the function of office management. What's the function of office management? I will be asking Mom 
Uh, Mom Rodella. Is Mom Rodella good to unmute? <laughs> All right. Ah, yeah, and perfect. So, yeah, mic check. Hello, good ah, morning, po. Ah, hello, po. Good morning, Ma'am Rodella. You can be hello heard po. now. Thank you. Yes, essential na po. No problem. Mm. Ito po, function of office management. Can you see it on your screen, Ma'am Rodella? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. Just read, Ma'am. Thank you. I function of office management. An office manager is responsible for monitor monitoring and reviewing systems, usually focusing on specific outcomes such as improved time sales, turnover, output, sales, etc. They may, so, they may supervise or manage a team of administrators, allocating rules, recruiting and training, and issuing assignments and projects. As such, the role is varied, often including responsibilities across a diverse range of functions such as We'll just continue that later, okay? So it yes. is, um, yeah, we'll just, <laughs> yes, well, ma'am, no problem, <laughs> Rodella. <laughs> okay. Can you enjoy? All right. So, ma'am, um, uh, yeah, okay. So you may now mute your microphone. Like what was read by ma'am, Rodella, uh, we are responsible for monitoring and reviewing systems. Yeah. Okay. So the moment that you got promoted as an office manager or a supervisor, the very first thing that you have to check is what are the systems working or present or currently used or, and what are the effective ones what are the what are what are those that need revisions or you need improvement yeah and ba so may mga existing ba kaya importante yung nag uh, importante that before we get promoted we do what we call shadowing or yeah yung um Kumbaga, you susunod-sunod ka doon sa sa ano mo sa, sa, su, supervisor mo okay so sabi nga nila be with people you want to be you wanted to be and where you wanted to who you want to be something like that yan so kumbaga if you always go with your boss or your leader supervisor sooner or later you would you you just by observing no malalaman mo kung ano yung mga best practices niya paano siya naka-handle kahit wala siyang sinasabi or much more that if your boss directly trains you no whether ikaw na yung magsusunod sa kanya or hindi but um he directly tells you this and that no the the inside and out of 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 management Yan. So, plus factor yan sa inyo. Meron na kayong experience. So, we just monitor. Monitor effectiveness and efficiency. And if it's good as it is or it needs uh, enhancement, you review the systems. We focus on specific outcomes such as improved time scales, the turnover, the output, and the sales. Now, depending on the context of the organization, you may supervise or manage a team of administrators. Wow. Apakalaking tao na nito, no? That you handle, baka meron dito, you handle team of managers or administrators. Meron po ba? Para po matanong din natin kung ano po yung, yung pinaka-challenging part ng pagiging administrator ng mga administrators, supervisor ng mga supervisors. <laughs> Share it with us, po, if you are one of uh, the people in the loop. Okay. Para po, we can also, you know, um, learn from the supervisor of a pool of supervisors. But while we are waiting for someone to courageously um, admit <laughs> that he's bigger than big or she's bigger than big, we'll have the functions of uh, these are the functions, Kanina. Functions of um, office management. We have uh, bookkeeping, customer service, design of form and document templates, management consulting, project management, recruitment, sales and marketing, system analysis, business process mapping, database management, human resources, occupational safety and health. Uh, purchasing, report writing. Gusto ko po sanang malaman kung saan dito ang mga checks ninyo. Um, 
type in the chat box the number of functions you are doing in as of the moment sa inyong uh, organization or sa inyong company. Magbilang na po kayo ngayon. While I'm reading all of these functions, ano, saan dito yung mga, yung kayo? Okay? Ilang espiritu po ang nasa, mga, nasa katawang lupa po ninyo? So, you may now start counting. Wow! 12, Sir Mel! Occupational safety and health report, purchasing report writing, security management, website maintenance, cost accounting, facility management, management information systems, payroll, ayoko nitong payroll, tatalaga iniiwasan ko sa lahat, records management, risk management, space management, and digitalization. Wow, 15 with Sir Solito. How many are these? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times 3, this is around 24. So out of 24, 15, yung functions na hinahawakan ni Sir Joselito. Alright. Sir Joselito, ilang years na nga po kayo as the supervisor, the manager or the, the president in your, in your current job? 15 years as president. Ano po, sir? 16 years. 16 years. Wow. 16 One years. Six. with Yeah, with that kind of uh, number of experience, with that number of experience, talagang ang dami-dami nyo nang kayang gawin, Sir Joselito. This uh -huh. 15, yeah, this 15 functions in one body. 12, 13, ang iba. Okay, thank you po, sir. Now, let's go to... Uh, saan po dito, Sir Joselito, saan dito ang pinakagusto nyo? Kasi kanina na-share nyo, ayaw nyo ng payroll. Tama po ba? Or, I mean... That's a list <laughs> that you like. Tama po ba ako to assume that? Recollection is number one na uh, problem. Uh, ano po yung pinakagusto niyong ginagawa, sir, among all these functions? Safety. Ah, safety. All right. Health safety. and safety ng mga tao. Okay. Na priority namin yan. All right. I see. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, sir. And we send, ano, we send a lot of workers for safety training. Mm, good, good, good. Good to hear that. Kapag Kasi yung, kung ano yung lagi na natin ginagawa at yung gamanan natin or yung we are already expert with with it after a lot of training, yun ang talagang gusto-gusto natin. No? Uh, because of course, we give time to which we like very much. All right. So we have already answered this question. What are your difficulties in office management? And if you have a clear management procedure. All right. So we'll go to importance on office management. Why was this uh, why did this come to existence? Okay, bakit merong office management? Bakit hindi pwedeng lahat na lang? So, with each part, with each importance, um, I'll be asking one to read. So, I'd like to hear the voice of Mom Amor to read to us the first importance of office management. Okay, so, Mom Amor. All right. So, okay, take that. There you have it. Okay, na, sir. Okay, na po. Okay. Importance of office management helps in achievement of targets. Targets of goals or goals are results in quantitative terms which are to be achieved in a given time. Management makes people realize the goals and direct their efforts toward the achievement of these goals. All right. Thank, thank you. So first, we have helps in achievement of targets. All right. Because we, if, if we have a good office management system, everything is organized. Everything is under control. Yeah. If not everything, at least most of the things that are um, that we are concerned with about internal and external processes, we are in control of it. So the target goals. Um, yeah, kasi walang mga especially you you anticipate what are the risks, what are the what are the disruptions. You already have planned about the manage how to manage this interruptions and these risks. So hindi na siya magtitake ng oras. Kasi ito talaga yung mga unprecedented um, things. Ito yung mga nagtitake sa atin when we we are caught off guard. Sa pag pa lang, pag worry pa lang, hindi na natin na. But because we have a good management system, we know what our goals. Hindi tayo palikuliko. We are on one direction. 
not only you but also your employees are on in uh, going towards one direction you are on the same boat everything is under control like what i said everything and everyone so yan and we achieve targets together number 2 let's have um sir melvin sir melvin if you are good with uh, unmuting your microphone okay hello. there you have it hello. thank you sir hello okay the second one okay optimum use of resources management helps in the utilization of resources effectively scarce resources are put to use optimistically by managers managers bring about coordination and integration of various resources it is management which guides the personnel in office in the use of resources thank you sir melvin ayan in other words this import this is um the the um, the second importance is about resourcefulness all right when you are a good office manager you do not although worrying is part of our you know human nature but you don't worry a lot about the uh, scarce resources okay because as resourceful as you are and you have become with your years of experiences parang nakatanggap niyo ng katotohanan na talagang minsan natitipid tayo, tinitipid tayo ng top management o tinitipid tayo ni head, department head or ng ating supervisor directly uh, manage, supervising us. Tinitipid tayo, talaga tayo sa resources. But the challenge is how we respond to this scarcity of resources. Okay? Do we optimistically respond to it? Or do we keep on worrying until we do nothing, until we achieve nothing? So the challenge for being an office manager, being effective, efficient, being good, is how you're able to handle or manage resources that are limited, okay? And how you can become resourceful. Um, ako kasi nasa educational institution ako, so... Kami, na mga teachers or advisors sa isang classroom, of course, talagang there is what that we, what we call scarcity of resources that are given to us. Limited lang sa mga maliliit na bagay kasi ang dami-dami mga teachers. Now, kaya kung nakikita ninyo, kanya-kanya um, kami ng, ng, ng paghanap ng aming mga stakeholders, internal stakeholders sa classroom um, on and, and looking and finding for the things that we need inside the classroom. So, kanya-kanya. We need to be really resourceful. And naging part na yan ng aming system. And we just keep on improving that. Looking for people, how to reach out a lot of people. So, I think this is a, just a, in a small context. But putting that in a bigger context, of course, di ba? yung ating networking or ating, uh, um, yung ating stakeholders. All right? In terms of of our needs we have available stakeholders they are our partners especially in uh, in management ayan so pwede natin so para paraan lang sabi nga nila para paraan lang yan okay tayo po ay merong ganong experience if you have that kind of experience ano po um you can share that through the chat box or you may unmute the microphone like what i said i don't mind interruptions i don't mind if you uh have something to share about that kasi ano kaya yung pwedeng gawin kapag ganitong ano, ano yung mga technique ninyo ano yung mga para paraan ninyong um ginagawa na apply kapag konti lang yung resources that uh, you have so ayan may mga iba they contribute, mga mga contribute, contribute, or may mga ganito ganyan, mga income generating project. I don't know with your organization. What are your paraans <laughs> to, um, you know, to add up to the to the resources that you have? Okay, but nasa inyo yan as office managers. Number three, in importance of office management, I'll be asking, uh, right, sir. Is this Samelo? 
Santoral. Are you able to unmute your microphone, sir? <laughs> Tingnan natin. Excited. Para akong excited na nitingnan ko nakaka-unmute kayo or hindi. And I don't know, it gives me joy. Parang tumama ako sa loto kapag nag-white yung microphone or naalis yung canceled na awala. <laughs> Let's go to Ma'am Marielle. What about Ma'am Marielle? The third importance of office management in, okay, there you have it. Ang saya ko, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning, um, po. Importance of office management. Um, in the minimization of cost. Office cost can only be reduced under the guidance and control of efficient management. Office management is concerned with doing the office activities in a best and cheapest way. Thank you. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Marielle, yan. Diba? Yung challenge na nga yung scarcity of resources. Mas challenging pa talaga minimize the cost. All right, you minimize the cost. We're all we are I know we are we are often told, I don't know. How often is that often? How frequent is that frequent? We are being told about magtipid kayo, mga manager, supervisor, tipid-tipid naman, no? Pag masyadong ganito ganyan, nakik mga sa from papel, sa mga reports, nagsasayang kayo ng papel, mali-mali ang reports ninyo, you minimize the cost. Okay? Ay, oh, yung mga kuryente, bakit, bakit parang 24 hours itong ano nyo, itong electric fan, itong aircon? Ayan. So, mga, di ba? May mga ganong instances that we are being asked to minimize our cost from uh, electricity, consumption, elect uh, yeah, electricity, water consumption, ano pa bang mga pinapatipid sa inyo paggamit ng mga ng printer ng mga papel and other resources i don't know with the context of your uh, with the, your own organization o kung saan kayo kung sa construction kayo wasting time the most important thing tama thank you sir sir mel for highlighting that wag magsayang ng or kay na init na init sa mata yung uh, na yung mga nakaupo, nagte-text, nagte-chat, yun. Mga ganun. So, ayan. Wasting time is saving more effort and, of course, become we become more productive. Okay. If we save time, rather. Okay. Office management is concerned with doing the office activities in a best and cheapest way. Yeah. And so, let's go to the fourth one. I'll be asking mom, Hold on. Uh, Ma'am, is it Sir Ho Sir Hoserez? Joserez? Sorry, Miles? <laughs> Sir or Ma'am Villanueva? Mm -hmm. Sir? Uh, Sir Puba? Uh, Sir, okay, I think. You can't be heard. Yeah, hindi pa masyado, Sir. Are you outside? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Am I here now? Right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, better now. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Flow of work. An interpreted flow of work is only possible if there is a proper plan and control. Management to ensure efficient and the smooth flow of work. Thank you, sir. Sir Miles, marami salamat po. Okay. So you may now mute your microphone, sir. Thank you. So the fourth importance is the smooth a smooth flow of work right because we, we can only achieve an interrupted flow of work if we have planning we have proper planning and control right kasi kapag yun nga, sabi ko nga diba, we anticipate the things that we need to do yung talagang uh, if you have attended one of our trainings or our trainings on the risk management system you would appreciate their um then and there, you would you would know how important it is to plan everything out, even if things don't happen yet. Okay, yun naman kasi talaga yung purpose ng risk management. Hindi pa nangyayari, we become proactive with the things that are possible uh, that are possible to happen. Okay, so importante that we plan and control. If like what I always say, anyway, si si Sir Silito lang kaalam na to. Lagi ko tong ginagawa. Lagi 
at si Sir Mel, lagi itong sinasabi, if we plan to fail, and this is cliche, however, this is still very important at all times. If we fail to plan, we plan to fail. Whether we like it or not, you are really planning to fail kapag hindi tayo nagpa-plano. That's why I know this has been part of your system already. Just I just want you to, to I just want to to tell you that good job, you're doing the right thing. I mean sa naman, we're planning our planning is is actually the problem. All right? Maybe we underplan everything or we overplan everything. So it's important that in planning we know where what are our limitations what are our what's our context what are what is what is applicable and what is not okay kasi sa planning kasi pwede tayong mag-assume or mag, mag over like what i said over estimate and underestimate less or more is still dangerous since planning is everything okay planning is 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 thinking or trying to take control of what's before, during, and after. Okay? Kaya importante siya. Alright? That's why, actually, but planning should be flexible. Kasi not everything is anticipated well. Not everything is properly, uh, uh, you know, yeah, anticipated. Hindi talaga natin anticipate lahat. So, your planning should be flexible. That's why may mga emergency meeting, right? Nagtapapatawag na emergency meeting because things have gone beyond your control. Things have gone beyond your plan, right? So kailangan uh, may contingency plan. Merong, meron kayong uh, plan B. Okay, we have 26 letters in the alphabet. If, you're, if your plan A fails, then you still have B to Z, all right? So... Fifth importance of office management. Okay, what about? Okay, I was about to call Mom Jen, but I think she said here. Ah, it was Mom Loresa pala. Mom Jen Izel Torres. Is it okay if I ask you to unmute your microphone? Yes, Bob, right. can you hear me clearly, Bob. Yes, very clearly, ma'am. Take it away. Hello. Hello. Yes, Bob. Yes, Mom Jen. Can you hear us, Mom Jen? Oh wait, lang po. Hello, hello. Okay. Helps in maintaining office efficiency management. Hello. Yes, I can hear you now. All right, Ma'am Jen. Sige, Ma'am. Continue pa. Management helps in maintaining efficiency in an office. A manager not only performs and produces results, but also does it in the most efficient manner so as to contribute towards profit generation. Okay, thank you, Ma'am. All right, dito na lang po. All right, thank you, ma'am. Jen, I think she cannot hear us. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, uh, helps in maintaining office efficiency. All right, so when 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 we talk about efficiency, effectiveness is more on quality. All right, efficiency is more on time. So, a manager not only performs and produces a result, but also does it in the most efficient manner. So as to contribute towards profit generation. We know the time is of the essence in any undertaking that we have, right? Oras ay mahalaga. Kahit anong context ng ating organization, be it you are in an educational institution, you are in a business um, enterprise, you are in the construction firm or law firm, wherever you are, time is our common denominator. It is the most important um commodity it is our, it is a, the most important element in our in management so um talagang mahalaga that we manage our time well okay so it's not only about the result like what i said result re result is taken to our effectivity or effectiveness i mean but the time is with our efficiency okay so whether if we say again if we say what should I choose in 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 management? 
which one should I choose better or which, which one should I prioritize? Is it my being effective or being efficient? That question is like, like you making the bird choose which um, is more important for the bird, the left or the right wing. He should enhance both wings. You should enhance both your being effective and being efficient. All right. So, um, yeah, that's the fifth importance of office management. Let's go to number six. I'll be asking, um, oh, Sir Brent. Sir Brent, are you able to un unmute your microphone? Sir Brent Nunez. In three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Mom Jona May. Are you good with unmuting your microphone, ma'am? How about Mom Joylin? Ayan, Mom Joylin's very ready. <laughs> Mom Joylin, number six, po. Uh, hello, is my line okay, po? Yes, po. Very clear. Okay, so managing survival and growth. Management has to play an important role in keeping the organization alive. Change in technology and methods must be anticipated and adapted for survival and growth. Ah, yeah, and very good. Thank you, Ma'am Joylene. You have, as a good office manager, you also manage survival and growth, all right? Be it your survival or the survival of your colleagues or your subordinates. Because we are also being evaluated as to the employee turnover, diba? Yung kumbaga maraming, kung maraming nagre-resign or umaalis, okay, kung maraming gustong umalis during your term as the manager, uh, it would not be taken against the equipment, not in the system or the salary or whatsoever. The first thing that will be looked at is the manager. Ano kaya ang nagawa ni manager o hindi pa nagawa ni manager that that person was not able was that she was not able or he was not able to motivate the person to stay in the company. Kasi the higher turnover rate is not a good thing for the company kasi you will be spending time for the and money for the pro, for the hiring process again and again. And aside from that, during the 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 example, yung yung resignation is very sudden. Kasi yung iba naman nag na they they implement the 30 day uh parang allowance no before that the resignation is becomes effective. Pero sa iba may mga agad-agad na resignation things like that. So and they don't mind uh the breach of contract but talagang gustong-gusto na nilang umalis. So what's that that's a problem. Now that's that's where it is. Now another thing is on your personal or on your personal note or on your end, okay, you have to, of course, you have like what it says here, very clear, you have to keep the organization alive. Yan. So how can you make the organization alive kung kayo mismo parang zombie, no? Kayo mismo very strict, very stiff, walang, kasi tayo dapat iba-iba, we, we know para tayong chameleon. We know how to change color whenever possible. Okay, we know how we we know when we be, we should become black. We know when we should become red. We know when we should become pink and yellow and so on. We need to be colorful. In other in other in other way of saying it, we need to be colorful. Each color represents our leadership style. Okay, we can become straight strict. We can become flex. Uh, we can become lenient. So iba iba yan, no? And we don't we don't need to to really be to base everything from the book. Kasi pag bookish ka na leader, magkakaproblema ka. So we also have to listen not only to our brain, but also to our heart, how to manage these people. The change in technology and methods must be anticipated and adapted for survival and growth. So we always have to give people time to adjust, especially if new systems arise or new, new systems are being implemented. We have to give people, not everyone is technologically inclined not everyone are tech savvy not everyone not everyone is tech savvy not everyone is able to to adjust immediately especially during the pandemic that we shifted from face to face to uh, i mean in person to off person or on off site 
work setup, no? So, ang iba nag adjust pa. So, hindi natin agad-agad na bakit hindi mo, hindi mo, uh, hindi mo, nag, hindi ka nag-train or hindi ka nag, nag-search kung paano gumamit ng Zoom or ng VOOV or ng what. Kasi may iba, they're, they're just tech savvy. Ang iba naman is they 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 are just good at with working uh, uh working with with equipment. So madali na lang sa kanila pero may iba talagang kahit anong aral nila nahirapan kasi hindi sila hindi nga sila technologically inclined. Merong iba-iba kasi tayo ng mga inclination, di ba? May iba kahit na anong aral nila ng equation, ang mga mathematical formula, hindi talaga nila makuha because we are not number inclined. They are not mathematically inclined. things like that. So, may iba kahit anong aral ako, kahit anong aral ko ng in musical instrument, kahit, kahit ng gitara lang ha, hindi ko talaga siya makuha. Kahit nagtitrain, bumili ako ng sarili kong gitara, it's just that musical instruments don't love me. <laughs> so, may mga ganun instances. So, we, we are different. no? And we just have to manage survival and growth in a way that no, we have to get to know our subordinates or our people. Kila, kasi individual approach tayo eh when it comes to these things iba-iba kasi sila ng iba-iba ng 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 inclination iba-iba sila ng ng problems ng challenges at sa mismong challenges na yun iba-iba din yung level may mga iba naman na pareho sila ng challenge technology iba-iba naman yung level nila yung iba talaga zero knowledge on technology iba naman mga one or two so things like that iba-iba so that's why pag na Pag nakakakita ako ng mga 30, 60, napapawaw ako because imagine 60. We are not just looking at one number. We are looking about 60 numbers here. 60 people here. So isa-isa yun. Kikilalanin mo sino ba yung mga ganito-ganyan, sino yung mga strong ang personality, sino naman yung mga temperaments na sunod-sunod lang, ganun. Okay, so ayan. Number seven. Provides innovation. So, sino pa po ba ang dinaka-recycle? Teacher Alan. <laughs> so, let's have... Let's have Mom Vanessa. Mom Vanessa, are you good? Or are you better? Tingnan natin. In three, two, one. Oh, you lose your chance. Mom Vanessa, let's go to Sir Frederick. Sir Frederick. Oh yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, you sir. You are muted again, Sir Frederick. All right. Maybe we can go to Mom Iris this time. Mom Iris May. Uh, yeah. okay. provides information. In innovation is finding new, different, and better method of doing existing work. To plan and manage innovation, management has to play an important role. Suggestions from customers, information from salesmen, close to watch on compet competitors' activities provide source of innovation. All right. So when you say innovation, that's creativity on a higher level. All right. You innovate. Uh, in innovation, you need creativity. You need to uh, you need to embrace changes and embrace what's new. Okay? Kasi hindi lagi yun nakagawian na natin, yun ang mahalaga. I mean, yun ang tama or yun ang akma sa panahon ngayon. Hindi dahil nakasanayan na natin ito, especially if our employees have been uh, in have been working, mas nauna pa sila sa atin, no? So we introduce new system, we introduce new strategies, new plan. Talagang sila yung masabi mong uh, skeptical. Tama po ba? You have this kind of uh, do you have this kind of of uh, experience sila yung talagang yun na lang nakasanayan na kasi yun na nakasanayan natin yun na ang lagi nating ginagawa no hindi in, the, these are the kind of people who are already like exhausted or tired of uh, of of the changes of the new things which are necessary because there are necessary changes and there are unnecessary changes. Talagang talang, alam natin paano mag-assess ng system or ng procedures. 
ng system. Ayan, ng system. So, alam natin kung we need modification, we just need to maintain. Ayan. So, we also have to take ito na mga with, with, with just due respect to them, no, giving due respect to their tenure, we also ask them what what's their thought about this. And we also have to explain because uh, maybe they also have they also have the point. Uh, but yeah, that's why you have to meet halfway talaga. Na talagang kailangan pag-usapan yan as a team to embrace this. Kasi baka pwede din silang the, with, with the right way of explaining to them na ganito ang system. Kasi sila yung process workers. So kailangan they have to also we have to also make them embrace if we introduce or we implement new things or new plan. No, kasi sila yung ano, baka magkakaproblema tayo niyan in terms of the quality kasi hindi wala silang gana, hindi nila gusto yun. The tendency is they will re, they will rebel. Yung pagre-rebel din nila, hindi naman nila yung sasa, hindi naman nila yung gagawin dele, deliberately. But makikita natin sa performance nila at sa output and we don't want to happen that because we cannot afford um a less quality output, no? So ayan, we need to in giving innovation and doing innovation, we have to involve our team because they are the process workers. Even if you are the head and they are the they are the body, but still you are in one one um you are in one one body. You are in one one person. Kumbaga. that new one person is you, one organization. All right, the head cannot work without the body. The body cannot work without the head. So much as well. In terms in, in terms of planning, my instant uh, my, my my times that you have to instill to them that you are the leader, but most of the time you have to uh, you have to set an atmosphere of of kumbaga, fairness and atmosphere of you know you welcome their 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 opinions, their suggestions, and then you meet halfway as a team. Kasi kayo naman din talaga ang gagawa as a team. Let's go to the eighth one, eighth. Uh, importance. Um, let's have Mam Ma Marie, Ma Maria, Luisa, San Miguel Guerrero. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Parang gusto ko lang talagang basahin ng buong pangalan yung Ma Maria. Sorry for that. Ma Maria, if you are ready. All right, there you have it. Oh, um, sige, try natin ulit, ma'am. Uh, uh, a little, let's say. Let, let's have it. Take it up. Hello, po. Ah, okay. Okay, na po. This is better. Okay, po. Hello. Hi, baby. First, in retaining talent, people to be a sense of loyalty of the system. Efficient management helps in retaining talented and hardworking employees by providing them comfortable work environment. Manager must motivate his employees by recognizing and appreciating. Thank you, Ma Maria. All right, so that's another the, the eighth one helps in retaining talent and incul inculcating sense of loyalty in office staff. Ayan, yung yung, yung sinasabi ko kanina. If we just, kasi may mga times na sinasabi natin, ako yung leader, dapat sa akin yung mag-adjust, or ako yung, ako yung, matuto kayong gumalang, or matuto kayong rumispeto, or matuto kayong sumunod. Yeah, at times, okay, at times po, um, at times po, may, 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 may kailangan talagang ganyan. Like what I said, we know how to change colors if the need arises. Kailangan natin maging black, maging red. If we need to be strict, no, we have to be these strong colors. But there are moments that we really need to, to you know, you know, you need to motivate them. Kailangan natin silang ligawan, kumbaga, no? Kailangan natin silang suyuin. Yeah, it happens. Even if we're already the manager. Kasi, Pag yan sila mag, pag magtatampo ito, especially the the not so young, all right? The the once young generation, pag sila nagtatampo, talagang emotionally they are not able to control it and they would tend to uh, you would tend to see that in their in their performance, no? Parang nag um kumbaga taw dyan, nagmamaktol sila or they they are they are yeah, they're just doing it as a part of hindi tayo bate 
ganun. <laughs> hindi tayo, hindi kita gusto. <laughs> All right? So, yan. Nakikita yan sa kanilang performance. Wala silang gana. They are demotivated. So, we have to just, oh, you have to not only inculcate, no? What not all, only inculcate, but we have to make sure that their sense of loyalty is always there. And that is seen on their output. Our, our measure of their sense of loyalty is not only in their staying in the company. Kasi marami nagsistay sa company pero wala namang ambag. Or hindi, wala namang ginagawa to improve Uh, productivity to improve the performance of the company. Yan. Hindi na sila. Gusto lang nilang, gusto na lang nila nando, nandoon, no? So, their, the sense of loyalty is not measured on nandyan sila for, for, for years. But their sense of loyalty is how they envision themselves and how they envision the company in general. Ano yung gusto nila? Yung direction ba nila is the same direction that you want the company to be or to go? Yan. So, if they have, di ba, yan talaga yung mga loyal, buwis buhay na mga employees. Yung talagang tinatak nila sa isip nila at sa puso nila that the company is their second home, their office is their second home, and they need to do, they need to contribute for the betterment of their office or the organization in general. So, ayan. Si manager talaga ang the the key player for that you know si, si manager you have we have to motivate our employees whether di ba may mga times na ako din naman gusto ako din naman gusto ko din ma-motivate there are times that we are demotivated but it doesn't have to be replicated to our employees there are moments in our work working life oh, there are really times that we too are demotivated but we do not need to pass it on to our employees. Yung parang i-motivate mo sila kahit ikaw demotivated na. You tell them to be energetic and enthusiastic kahit ikaw sa loob mo pagod na pagod ka na. Di ba? Amen ba? May mga ganun kayong instances. May mga ganun kayong times. I know that because I've been there a lot of times. No? Yung hindi nakikita, yan, ito ang mga commendable na managers. Hindi nakikita sa inyo yung pinagdadaanan ninyo. Ang nakikita nila is an ideal manager who uh, motivates them, who encourages them, even you need one. All right? So, yan, for, for doing that, congratulations and good job po. Kasi alam na alam po ninyo kung anong dapat, yun, anong dapat yung gawin. Um, kasi nga, It will it will soon become your problem if you got demotivated and you rep replicate that spirit. You tend to pass it on to your employees. Magiging mas 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 magiging demotivated kanyan kasi yung mga employees mo, de ba? In moments of your weakness, hindi naman po tayo kasi per perfecto. In moments of your weakness, it's important for them to also know how to. Uh, cheer you up kasi ang, yan, ang, yan, yan ang maganda kapag pamilya kayo sa inyong team or sa inyong organization. They know when you feel sad and you feel down and they tend to encourage you. They say, upo ka muna ma. Or say, ganito, kain muna tayo. Ganito, ganyan. No? Yan ang maganda kapag pamilya kayo sa isang team. And I, I hope you are in your organization. Nine and ten. All right. So, ubusin natin ito lahat. Um, I think If I'm not mistaken, I think, oh, how about Ma'am Mina Celestial? All the way from Cavite. Are you able to unmute your microphone, Pa? Ma'am Mina Celestial, if not, how about Ma'am Marcos? Ma'am or sir? Important. Okay, yes, pa. Hello. Yeah, pa. Um, provides leadership. Management provides leadership by influencing and guiding office personnel. Managers influence his subordinates to work willingly for achieving organizational goals. Yes, very good. Thank you, ma'am. And in providing leadership, we also raise leaders. That's the good thing to note. That, that's important thing to note because it's part of the succession planning. In providing leadership, Okay, uh, the, the office management, our task provides us that skill. No matter how, no matter we, no matter how, I mean, whether we like it or not, rather, whether we like it or not, no, we tend to become leaders. Kahit na hindi tayo people person, kahit not before, napaka-introvert natin, but 
but we had to we had to forcefully um, acquire the interpersonal skills that a leader needs to have. Okay, so the management provides that by influencing and guiding office personnel. And so, so while while the the yung kahit hindi mo gusto yan, hindi hindi mo naman plinano before na maging manager ka, but it was given to you because of your performance. And with that, you were forced to become a leader on your own, even if you, wala naman din talaga, no? we are, leaders are being created. However, yun nga, you had to acquire these skills. All right. Although sinasabi nila that um, leaders are not born, they are made. However, becoming a good leader is a choice that you have to make. Okay. So, yan. Now, you provide leadership. You have to also, especially in... Kasi we, we, I don't know, we delegate tasks. Depending again on the context of organization, kung malaki na yung ating organization, we delegate. We tend to, we, we choose who we, we I, who, we, who should be the leaders, who are the leaders, and so on. Ayan. So, important that we also make leaders in our organizations. Again, okay, we influence them by a Diba? We raise them. Kasi we, we will not wait for the time na mapapromote ka at doon ka pa mag-raise ng, lead, ng next leader or ng next manager. Diba? Okay, again, that's part of the succession planning. All right. Marami tayong strategies how to equip them. We have cross-training. We have um, we can shadow. <laughs> okay, so things like that. Okay, managing change. Kung meron pang hindi nakarisign ito, nakapagbasa po, um, just uh, type in the chat box. Isumbong natin. <laughs> so let's have managing change. I'll just do this one. Importance of office management is that it helps in planning the change and introducing it at the right time and in the right manner. Due to change in technology methods, work procedures, etc., have to be changed for efficiency and economy. Ayan. Like what I said, plans, our plan should be flexible. Change is always changing. No? Change is 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 constant. All right. It's it's one thing in our organizational in our in our organizational procedures that never changes. All right, it don't change. So kailan talaga flexible. You have to you have to um equip our our subordinates to be adaptive, you know, yung adaptability, yung flexibility, ito yung mahalaga. Kasi pwedeng magbago-bago lahat. Alright? Pwedeng magbago-bago. Yung sistema, yun, like ngayon, no? Yung aming, uh, like, ito sa aming ngayon, mod yung aming modalities. Modality of learning, modular, tapos ngayon, nag-face-to-face -face na naman. So, meron mga blended modality, may mga hybrid. So, no teachers are one of the of the people uh, in the new normal who tend to be explicitly flexible okay so number 11 maintaining public relations office management help management helps in improving public relations and increasing goodwill of an enterprise by dealing with grievances of consumers and general public yes we always have to make sure that our csat rating or the customer service satisfaction customer satisfaction rating is high Okay, talagang we, meron ba tayong suggestion box? Meron ba, nagpaparate ba tayo? Importante yan. Nagpaparate tayo sa ating customers para we, it, it will become a basis of our uh, future process enhancement or process development. Okay, kailangan din nating marinig kasi sila yung main natin na client. Sila yung talagang taong kailangan nating, kailangan nating pakinggan. Okay. Kasi we can become biased in our own systems and procedures. Sasabihin natin, napakaganda na, napakagaling na natin lahat, napakagaling na ng sistema. But the question is, how about the people? Do we listen to, do we listen to the people outside, to our customers? Ano kayang nariri? Kasi meron, pwede meron tayong na, hindi nakikita na sila ang nakakakita. Okay? So we need to maintain public relations. And we can only maintain public relations if you listen to them. Okay, especially if you listen to them individually. Social benefits, the last one. Management is beneficial not only to the business enterprises, but to the various segments of society. 
It provides and maintains link with various types of suppliers, banks, insur insurance companies, government departments, and general public. I'd like to know, sa inyo bang company meron kayong mga outreach program? Please type in the chat box yes or no. Meron po ba kayong mga outreach activity in your, in your organization or your company? Uh, please type in the chat box yes or no. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mama. Mom Marcus, or was it Sir Mom Marcus? Yes, yeah, Sir Sulito also has. Yan. It's important. Kasi yung ating mga investors, they're also looking at that, right? Kung ito ba ay may sinusuportahan na isang charity, yan. Yung mga artista, ang gaya ko po, uh, yan po yung tinitingnan ko sa mga company na mag invest ako. Yan. Yo, kasi, um, sinas tinitingnan ko muna kung meron, bang meron ba itong patutunguhan yung aking bang investment will not only benefit the company but the society or the community no so importante siya kaya yung iba di ba they deliberately have charity at kasi meron silang ang iba merong mga may mga tagang may mga hidden agenda yan yung kanilang nakikita ko lang kasi yan sa mga K-drama <laughs> nag may mga nagcha-charity yung mga hospitals may mga ganun ganun na mga issues sino mga maka maka maka, maka uh, create K-drama po dito may, may mga in, they, they would invite these invent, investors by um you know endorsing or promoting that their hospitals um support this charity and so on no so mga ganun yan so but like what I said, it doesn't have to be that, no. You can actually find your company or organization the venue for your for your social responsibility. Yung kayo po yung tao na gusto mong tumulong sa kapwa and you use, you use the power and the status of your company or organization to be able to reach out to these investors or to these stakeholders and channel, the, their, channel their blessings to the people in your community. Right? It doesn't have to be the other way around. Na we put up, we put up the uh, this charity. We we help these charities para sa investors. Hindi. We just need to like help people, and these invent investors and these um these stakeholders will just come. Okay, they will just follow. Right? Kumbaga, you feel the self. You feel the feeling of fulfillment when you help other people. That's it. So what? Is the impact of a good office management to your company? Uh, we'll answer that after a short break of five minutes. Okay, po. so we'll be back at 11.36. Just don't leave the loop. Allow me to because I'm saving the data. <laughs> it's very important. But you don't have to leave the loop. Okay, see you at 11.36.
All right, so welcome back to my channel. So <laughs> let's go to types of office management. And this is the last topic for this, for office and administrative management in the new normal. All right, and th there are different types of office management. I just want, again, we'll go back to, okay, we'll go back to our, sa pinaka. All right, so here, Pero wala si Ma'am Rodella. Supposed to be si Ma'am Rodella. We have Sir Samelo for this one. Sir Samelo, types of office management. Ah, okay. So let me just read first. Type of office management. No matter the in, no matter the industry, there is room for an office manager position in most companies. However. The task assigned to this employee can vary greatly and may depend on a number of factors, not least of all the industry in which the company operates. The most common types of office manager are corporate officer, office managers, legal office managers, medical and dental office managers, and virtual office managers. So ito po yon. Saan po kayo dito? These are the mo most common types but no, are not limited to. These. So, saan po kayo? Kayo po ba number 1, 2, 3, and 4? Please type in the chat box. 1, 2, 3, or 4 po ba kayo? Or you have another type of, you are in another type of office, man, an office manager. Baka meron po dito sa legal office manager para maging cautious po ako sa aking mga sasabihin at ako. It might be used against me in the court of law. So, may mga legal office managers po ba dito? Okay, so you may respond in the chat box. But for the first time, let's have the corporate office manager. Okay. Mom, let me see. Mom Gil? I'll have Mom Gil for this. Hello, po. Training. Hello, po. Yeah, po. Yes, po. So, uh, types of office management, corporate office man managers. In a corporation, office managers chief tasks surround improve, improving the performance of the departments working within the office. The environment in which employees work should be appropriate to the work they are doing and also to the branding and culture of the company itself. Within corporate settings, office managers may be involved with the work of other departments such as human resources or yung HR, finance, and even marketing. Ma'am Gail, kayo po ba ay corporate office? Nasa corporate office? Uh, nasa DepEd po ako. Ah, DepEd ka din po. Project Hello. and Management Service. I see. Thank you so much, Ma'am Gail. Yeah. All right. So in the corporate corporation corporation or the corporate corporate office managers, they have to their main task is to improve the performance, of course, of the departments working within the office, depending on the context. If it's a big corporation or small. So it depends on departments. The environment in which employees work should be appropriate to the work they're doing. So the branding, it's a branding and culture of the company. If the culture is affecting the overall performance or the productivity, is there um because there are there are culture or the, there's a culture that needs to be maintained and there's a culture that needs to be eliminated, especially if it's the culture not, not unnecessary. Or the worst, not um, interfering or brings negative impact to each person or to each employee and to the organization in general. The branding, yeah. What's your branding? What's your what's your image to your customers? Kailangan alagaan siya, so importante yon. Okay, and you may also be involved, you may be, because again, depending on the number, if you have enough manpower, others may be doing these tasks, HR, finance, and marketing. Yung iba naman, you are, uh, what do you call this one? Jack of all trades. <laughs> Para kayong admin staff. All right, so the legal office, legal office managers, Okay, so sa legal office managers, we have, um, okay, I'll just do this one. 
Legal offices employ office managers to manage working environments for staff and clients of the company. The responsibilities differ between offices, but the legal office managers are often tasked with handling income cli income incoming clients and other visitors to the building, dealing with administrative assistance, handling staff payroll, and working on projects in tandem with the HR. So there are similarities as to the the tasks or as to the the job description, but of course the concern is the context is different okay corporate and we have legal office again so medical and dental office same uh, same way in the healthcare industry office managers are often employed in hospitals doctors offices and dentist offices in this case office managers are generally required to have a certain level of relevant industry knowledge this can include education in healthcare or anatomy lab procedures and even the law surrounding healthcare so same thing goes with uh, the medical and dental office managers. The task might be different at some task, but of course the context is different. Kailan relevant knowledge in the industry, like in the legal as well. So medical and dental, okay. Uh, that's also necessary, all right. Virtual office managers, ito, nag VA din ako before. And our manager was very strict. Okay. So the manager in many companies don't have a need for an office manager working full time at a single location. The company may be too small and able to afford someone for the position, or they may only have a few hours of work per week to take care of. It's also becoming more common to run a business with a large portion of employees or perhaps even the entire staff working remotely. So, especially sa mga techies, yung ating mga Gen Zs ngayon, yung ating mga millennials ngayon, they often, uh, they, they tend to, you know, like this job better, virtual manager or virtual assistant and virtual manager. So, virtual office managers. Kasi walang, wala kang kailangan i-manage na office. Mga babayarin, mga ganito, ganyan. No? So, wala kang mga, everything is at the tip of your, at your fingertips. No? Uh, and you just work Yung time in a time out mo, very maganda maging VA. Of course, there are there each job has its advantage and advantages and disadvantages naman din. Okay. So ayan. Iba din yung skill na kailangan ng virtual office manager. So these are the most common. The last being being the most in demand, especially during the time of the pandemic. Mga virtual office managers talaga. Okay. Hello po sa mga nag-VA dito, nag-VA before. Okay, up here. How to achieve good office management. All right. Sino po ba ang nag-virtual manager, virtual office manager dito sa inyo? Meron po ba? Ako hanggang assistant lang kasi ako because of my time. I cannot work full-time as a virtual, uh, in the virtual um, space. So, ayan. Lagi lang akong part-time. So, sa mga nag-VA manager dito, we might be, I know, uh, learning something. So how to achieve good office management? All right. So let's have this. The qualities that you need to have. Sir Joselito, and dito po ba kayo? Uh, ayan, there. Sir Joselito, if you may read the qualities that you need to have. Qualities you need to have. Uh, sorry. Number one, be the most organized person in the company. Second, be a great communicator. Third, be innovative at problem solving. Four, be empathetic. Five, develop your negotiation skills. Six, always work on your business knowledge. Seven, a little legal knowledge goes a long way. And eight, understand emotional intelligence. All right. Thank you, Sir Salito. In other words, you need to be, you need to be holistically developed. <laughs> Kailangan po kayong emotionally um, strong, not only intellectually, which is really required no, for a manager to be to be knowledgeable, especially on the relevant um, skill. But you have to be a great communicator as well. If you were not before, you have to be now. You have to be when you started to be a manager. Most organized person in the company. Kahit hindi kayo organized, napilita na, kailang, na kayong maging organized because of your job. Because uh, since 
you can't afford losing a document. You can't afford losing a file, be it in the virtual space or in your or a paper document. Be innovative at problem solving. Talagang na test niyo yung pagiging maparaan, mapamaraan, no? Be empathetic. Kahit before you are not a people person, you have to be now. Kasi para ka magiging counselor, ang daming problema nila, magiging problema mo na rin, right? Develop your negotiation skills, you know, that already work on your business knowledge. Ito, a little like legal knowledge goes a long way, no? Talagang importante, especially if these, um, kasi ang dami-daming batas in the 1987 Constitution, ang daming batas. But of course, you just have to be uh, well-versed on the laws that that concern might concern you in the near future. Yan. Ito, ito ganyan. Inaaral mo talaga yung mga policy guidelines, things like that. May mga city ordinances that you have to follow. Ano ba yung mga kailangan na mga i-comply and things. Something like that. All right? Emotional intelligence. All right? So, tips from the famous experts. No one wants to work in a badly, badly managed office, which is which is why it pays to know what experts have to say about running an office, an organization, or a business. Here, here's what they recommend. First, clearly assign responsibilities, even the little ones, because these little ones might take a lot of the time if not addressed properly, if not given properly. Because, di ba, doon sa ating, um, doon sa ating time management matrix, if you have heard of the four quadrants Uh, four quadrants of time management, yung mga maliliit na bagay na hindi sana urgent at hindi sana important, nagiging urgent at nagiging important because it was not it was not addressed or it was not done at that time, at its given time. No? Nagiging deadline siya. I mean, nagiging na, na, umaabot siya ng deadline. So, as, assign responsibilities kahit yung mga maliliit. Because these little ones might interrupt you know, those great tasks. Okay? Always update your business records. Analyze your office space. Right? The, the convenience, convenience of your office would lead to a higher employee productivity. Yeah. Kahit the internet, internet connection, no? Talagang pagtuunan ng pansin. Yung convenience, yung comfort. Yan. No? And yeah, your office space. Sometimes you have to you have to structure or restructure the plan, floor plan of our offices. We organize workload and we choose to delegate. It's really important to delegate. Not only to lessen your burden, but also to give opportunities to your potential leaders in the future. Sila, dyan sila nabibigyan ng break, ng pagkakataon to showcase what they've got. Yung delegation, kaya importante siya. In team sports like basketball, volleyball, and baseball, each person has a designated role to play. It's very clear which player should keep the ball moving around or which post a player should occupy to help the team stay in the game and ultimately win. Assigning responsibilities also prevents teams from resorting to a blaming game, which according to Canadian writer Robin Sharma, is nothing more than excusing yourself. Yan. Kasi magtuturoan na ito kapag sino ba da dapat nito? Sino ba dapat nito? Sino yung directly accountable? Although you are accountable at all, pero sino yung directly accountable doon sa nabigyan? When you assign responsibilities, put it in paper in 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 black and white. Yan yung mali ng iba, hindi nila bina black and white, hindi sila nag 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 nag, nag re-release or nagbabigay ng designation. Yun. Magagamit din kasi nila yun. Diba? in their portfolio or in their promotion that you, they have their black and white. Hindi naman pwede na, ako, I've been working for two years. I've been the head or the supervisor. Na wala kang hinawakang papel that you were assigned to. Always update your business records. Records about your business or your customers should always be up to date since they are one of the most important assets of your organization. If you kept sending office correspondence to someone who's already left a particular company, it's impossible for your message to reach or to make an impact to the intended person. As Warren Buffett say, says, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. Wow. That's, that's big, right? Okay. So you should always have up-to-date Or you should always have your rec your records updated. 
kasi importante siya especially during transition period no um hindi mo na kailangang yung nagdesign na hindi mo na kailangang what do you call this one uh, hindi mo na kailangan pang guluhin kasi nagdesign na siya no kaila, 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 kailangan pag may magdi-resign make sure that that person if he's a process owner if he's a if is he's a project uh project manager or program coordinator ba siya or whatsoever what, whatever is that kailangan to clear his name di ba nagki-clearan sila updated yung kanyang mga records yung kanyang mga dapat ipasan reports up, up to date okay on the day of his leave or resignation analyze your offer space you and your employees spend a great deal of time in the office which is why you need to make it as pleasing to the senses as possible uh, bishik Ratna, author of the book No Parking, No Halt, Success, Nonstop, describes the work environment as something that can bring out the best or the worst in people. Needless to say, the latter isn't the most ideal of situations since negativity among employees can make your office a toxic place for the rest of the team. So you have to second home na natin siya. And uh, iba, even if it's a second home, we spend most of the time there. No, So kailangan convenient, kailangan we know the we know every corner, every corner of our office and it's properly organized. Kasi convenience, uh, convenient office space leads to better product, I uh, mean, higher employee productivity. Kasi hindi magulo, hindi, hindi siya, kasi walang mga distractions masyado. Ayan, dapat. No, gusto ko yung mga sa office, yung minimalist ang team nga ganon. Yun ang mga gustong gusto ko. Maganda no, kapag sa office, maganda yung ambience ng office. Business magnate Henry Ford once said, if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. As a business owner or manager, you need to see to it that your employees have the best working conditions, including a manage manageable workload and schedule. When employees are overworked, they're prone not only to stress and burnout, but also to increase desire to be isolated from other members of the team. And daming nasisira because a person is overworked. Not only himself, but his performance and the performance of the team. Once one person is affected, it will affect, of course, it's a domin domino effect. It will affect another person and the all and the entire organization at the bottom line. All right, so choose to delegate. Dr. John Maxwell, American author of Personal Gro Growth and Leadership Books, has this to say about delegating tasks. If you want to do a few small things right, do them yourself. If you want to do great things and make a big impact, learn to delegate. Ayan. The most common, the most common uh, mistake of the managers is that they micromanage. Yung hindi na nila, hindi na nila task, ginagawa pa nila. Hindi na na concern, kinoconcern pa nila. That's why they tend to disregard and not do their task yung kanilang task lang talaga the, the, the art of delegation is very important kasi you tend to do what you can only do yung ikaw lang nakakagawa hindi mo mapapasa sa iba so you have to delegate because they can you know as a team they too should help kasi kapag ikaw ang nalumpo malulumpo din yung sila maapektuhan ma din sila kasi walang manager busy busy sa lahat ng trabaho Dr. Maxwell's insight extends to your office management duties too. Your office will be so much more efficient running like a well-oiled machine if you know how to delegate tasks, whether it's asking someone your team to stay on top of administrative tasks or requesting an outsourcing provider to help you find a flexible workspace in the Philippines. Yung mga, mga meetings na emer urgent or emergency meetings na pwedeng ipa-attend mo muna sa iba de, because you're doing some managerial tasks or very important no, client and so on. And important mga ganito, that we we have people to delegate. Maraming issues kasi itong delegations kung bakit yung mga managers hindi na delegate. And we have another training for that. Okay? So I hope you would you have taken that or you would attend on our training about delegation. Okay? So how important is task delegation for you? We'll just answer that um, when you take the... Yeah. How organized... How, are you organized in your workspace? What do you think is its, it's its benefit? All right. As to organization of your of being organized in your workspace, rate from one to 10. Type in the chat box, respond with a number. One is the lowest, 10 is the highest. Are you organized in your workspace? 
Is your works, workplace organized? All right. So, oh, 10. Wow. Yes. And yes, for Mama Mark says yes. Eight for Mama Marcos, 10 for Sir Solito. I like that. I like nine, 10, eight, seven. It's fine if it's not because at least you acknowledge a problem, that there's a problem in your workplace or your workspace in terms of the um, being organize, organized and being convenient. It's okay. When we recognize a problem, we arrive to the right solution. That's what is good with if we rate it correctly. Okay, so. Ayan. We're done with our training. Sorry if I promised <laughs> that they'll give you more time on your lunch. But since it's we are, we are just on time. Do you have any questions, Paul? All right. We're done with our training in office and administrative management in the new normal. Most of these things, alam na alam niyo na, but you just, it's just good to be reminded with what is really important. Kasi yan naman yung talaga maganda sa training, no? Alam na natin yung mga bagay-bagay. Yes po, alright? Alright, so, uh, yeah, alam naman na po natin yung mga bagay-bagay, no? Kaya lang, it's good to be reminded with the training, the topics that we, diba? We just we just re revisit these these this knowledge and these skills that we had. <laughs> okay, so all right. So I'm just answering. Okay, now if you don't have any questions, please turn on your video or your camera for our documentation. Dapat smile pa rin tayo kahit gutom na. I said this will be posted, and you don't want to be posted like you're very stressed. So dapat artistahin. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, three, hahabol pa po si na Ma'am Rodella, Sir Samelo, and Sir Brent, Ma'am Vanessa, Ma'am Amor. Okay, habol po tayo. In three. Ayan. Ah, ang gaganda at ang gawa po pala ng ating mga trainees. Eh. So let's have this. Three, two, one. All right. And sabi na nila, para bumata daw tayo, Sir, Sir Salito. Opa. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, dear participants. Maraming maraming salamat po. I will not hold you so long. Training certificates will be forwarded within the day. And thank you for your patience and for your understanding and for your active participation. A minute before the lunch break, enjoy and have a great time. Enjoy your lunch. And Thank keep safe. Marami salamat po. Marami, marami salamat. Thank you for. Your personal development matters the most from where you are right now. Bring your career into new heights with our affordable and quality in-demand virtual training programs designed just for you. Give your career a boost with a course or a training from Stellar Training Consultancy Services and join thousands of professionals from different walks of life in a learning and development session that fascinates you, motivates you, challenges you to learn new things that you'll use forever in a career you love. Find the right training for you today here at Stellar Training Consultancy Services, bringing excellence to professionals.